just got up. It's like 3 in the morning. I woke up to do some work and looked online and saw Donald Trump was prez. And I got to say, I was shocked. I was like, what? Like, uh, I felt like someone like kind of punched me in the gut and, and the wind was knocked out of me. But then I immediately thought, this is like, maybe not proof, but indicative that the U.S., that the United States political process is not rigged, that if we want to elect someone, we can, and if we want to do something, we can, and no one can stop us because we're the ones doing it. I've had, I didn't vote for Don. I didn't dislike Don. I didn't vote for Hillary either. Uh, I'm, I voted for Jill Stein. I was going to vote for myself, but I wanted to put the Green Party on the ballot next year. You know, I have serious issues with, there's a lot of corruption that went through the Clinton campaign when Bernie got, basically when the Democratic National Committee conspired to keep Bernie out of, out of office. That was the beginning of the end for them. And because people aren't stupid. You can't just... And like Hillary, Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned and then Hillary immediately put her on her campaign. You can't do that stuff in modern day with all this media. People see it immediately and they don't forget. There's too many people. You, you might think that like your rich friends are going to be at your back, but that's not the way democracy works. Because all these people that aren't rich, you know, these people that, that live out in the boondocks, or the, there's just so many people. And if you're a liar... That's the, the worst thing you can do. Honesty is so true. Donald doesn't read with a teleprompter. I mean, for the most part, he just he has said some dumb shit, no doubt. No doubt. That's why I didn't vote for him. But he's he's himself. He's honest. I don't, you know, compared to Hillary Clinton, he's honest. Although he has gone, he says, like, I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. The thing about Donald is I believe he wants to be known as the greatest president of all time. I think he's willing to do whatever it takes for people to look back at him as legitimately the most unifying, greatest president in the world. And since the future is writable, it is possible. But what we have to keep in mind is the president's just one person. They don't really do much compared to the rest of the country. There's 350 million of us. And if we unify on this kind of technology, you know, 600 of us get together on a, on a web call and decide that we're gonna do something, make a movement, start a, an idea, get something passed. Solar roadways, solar rooftops, gross national domestic product domestic projects you know we're at 21st century we have some mad technology at our fingertips and don's like uh he's an outlier i guess you'd say he's like teddy roosevelt in that way or like i mean there's no one really that i can ima i can think of that's ever come before him that's like him He's a family man. He's a good, you know, there's a lot of good in that guy. I got on Facebook to be like, oh, let's see what everyone's saying. And, you know, most of my friends are, are liberal Californians. A lot of my friends are liberal Californians. So most of them, my feed's just been swamped with Hillary Clinton, which is like, oh, well, how come everybody's not like, fuck Hillary Clinton, put Bernie Sanders in office? I thought that, you know, everyone would be see very clearly the corruption of the Democratic National Convention when they, not to be redundant, but conspired when they kept Bernie out of office. I mean, those email hacks really sealed the deal. No, what sealed the deal was the corruption in the beginning. We're lucky it got hacked. But I got on, and, I, and there's a lot of people who are like, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. But like, now's not the time to be afraid. Yesterday was, tomorrow's another day. It's up to us. Not the not no one else is gonna take care of you. You have to take care of you. With me.
We work together to take care of ourselves, the entire country. It's our job to make sure Donald Trump's okay. It's time to learn languages. Nationalism is passé. The time of centralist. It's over. This is one globe. What can you say, man? Get famous. Speak your voice. And, uh, make some change. Uh, I mean, I know that I can use magic. I just haven't been doing it lately because I felt like, why? What's the need? I've been focusing on sending out these spherical pulses of healing energy from my core in every direction. You know, a sphere just fires out like brew, brew. Universal just goes out into the universe. And it's this sphere. And then I started looking at galaxies. And there's three types of galaxies, if you want to classify them. There's irregular galaxies, which are just kind of a mess of stars. Then there's the spiral galaxy that the Milky Way is that we're in. And then there's a spherical galaxy. And what I realized was I think what's happening is the irregular mess of galaxy, the galactic stars, is, is, start, is starting to slowly spin into a spiral. And that's like the evolution of the galaxies as it goes from irregular to spiral. Then it starts to spiral so fast that it becomes a sphere. And it co elected with my spherical pulses of healing energy I'm reeling if we start to I'm reeling I'm realizing if we start to focus our energy in these spherical these pulses of healing energy that maybe that is how our galaxy evolves it's about being selfless giving your energy to everyone outside of you the entire universe it's not a joke Oh, there's a double negative. It's real.